Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how we use Microsoft Snippets to write code faster and to spare us all of those mistakes or syntax errors that we usually do in the LMD. Uh, you can create your own snippets, we've created a few and provided them to you. The snippets are just files on the drive that you put in a folder, in my case I've chose the shortcuts folder. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use them productively. First of all, let's add them to our Visual Studio. So I'm going to go to Tools, Code Snippet Manager. And I'm going to say add and choose the folder where my snippets are and I'll say select folder. Great. So now I have an enter here called shortcuts. I'll open it and I can see all of the different snippets that we have created or we've imported and we can use them and play with them. You can also feel free to change each and every one of them. But I want to show you how to use them in the context of a demo, in the context of writing code to see how it's useful in my day-to-day -day presentations. Let's see where they take us. So first thing I want to do, I want to call the controller that we've created. I have a controller called Show Orders, very simple one. I want to call it from my menu. So I'm going to go to Dev Demo, Show Orders, double click, and to the code behind. And I can say here, right click, Insert Snippet. I can also use the shortcut Control K, Control X. Okay. And now I can choose a folder based on the folder that we had before. So you can see we can choose shortcuts, and I can get a list of my snippets. In this case, I'm going to use the Run one. We can see in the tooltips that it tells us what is the shortcut for it. I can say this, or I can just say run, tab, tab, and get this. Okay, so I'll say run, dev demo, show orders. Now, although this seems very trivial, it makes sure that we didn't forget the parents that we forget a lot of time in the early days, and we didn't forget the run method. So it's kind of cool, and it's working. Cool. Let's explore several more of those. Next thing I want to do, I have my controller, I want to filter it on ship via equals to one. Okay, so I can go and type where, add, blah, 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 or I can use a snippet. Again, I can say control KX, select shortcut and select where, okay, or I can just say WH, okay, and entity name is orders, column name is ship via is equal to one. Cool. And let's say I want to add another condition here. May say it's all three. So now I can use another snippet called is ik. Okay, to get this very quickly. Orders ship via is equal to three. Perfect. Now my code is ready, I can run it. And let's see what we've got. One or three. So here is how we can use it easily to create where statements and again not make the mistake that we usually make as beginners. Let's take it further. So I want to create a relation now to go and get the customer name. Now I can go and drag the customer over here, just like we're doing the dragon drop, I can also generate this using a snippet. There's a snippet called member. Again we can see it here. Okay, and we can see that the shortcut is member. So public member, models, customers, customers. Great. And there's also a snippet for relation. I'll say rel, tab, tab, and I'll choose customers, relation of tab, fine, customers, relation column, I want to have the customer ID is equal to orders dot customer ID. Again, the, the syntax of, of snippet is sparing me many, many mistakes that I may make as an early adopter, okay, or as a magician that is learning this for the first time. Let's go and create the famous get day of week method. Well, I can just say here, control KX and choose, again from shortcuts, public method. Okay, or I can just say, met, tab, tab, great, get day of week. And you, and you, W of you, U, W of orders, so date. Great. Let's add a handler. So let's do that. Hand, tab, tab, F8, context only, and box. This is fast and cool. Now, see how we have some different syntax here, like lambda and invokes. And there are things that are difficult for me to remember when I'm training. So this can be a great helper for training to know the right syntax. It's kind of a template that you can put in and use. Now, of course, you can write all of this without the template, but the template just makes it easier for you, and you can create your own templates. Okay? 
Um, great. Next, let's go and do the get values that we like so much. So I'm going to go to types, customer ID. And again, I have a template for that, get V, a snippet for that, tab, tab. Great. Everything is written for me. I can say models, dot customers. I don't care about the member name. Customer, I want to have the name. And customer ID. Great. So it's that easy to write a get value. What else do we have in our hands? And last time we want to create an inner class and do something with it. So we have a controller. And it will generate a controller for us. We can choose the controller name, the type, run method, and onload. Now these are some of the uh, um, snippets that we have created. Microsoft has obviously a lot of their own. I strongly recommend exploring with using Control KX Visual C Sharp. And you'll see there's a lot of cool things here like generate a class or generate a constructor and many other snippets that you can use. I hope you find this useful. I hope you'll use it tomorrow. And go to the comments of this video to get the snippets or a link to where you can download the snippets and give us feedback as soon as you can. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this.